Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 1 55 from RC Hibaler Mechanics of Materials 8 edition. According to this problem, the rods AB and BC each have a diameter of 5 mm. If the load of P is 2 kN is applied to the ring, we have to determine the average normal stress in each rod if the angle is 60 degrees. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the free body diagram of this ring. So the free body diagram of this ring would look something like this. We have a force P acting in the horizontal direction. And we have a tensile force due to the rod acting at an angle of theta from the vertical. Also, we have a vertical force acting in the downward direction due to the rod BC. Let's label them. So this right here is the force P. This is the tensile force in the rod AB and this is the tensile force in the rod BC. This is the angle theta and now we have to resolve the TAB force into its components. So we have a vertical component and we have a horizontal component. So this right here is TAB cos theta and the horizontal component is TAB sin theta. Now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of the forces in x direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand direction as positive. So we have P minus TAB sine 60 degrees because theta is 60 equals to 0. So from here TAB is equals to P over sine 60 and the value of P is 2 kN. So we have 2000 over sine 60 so from here TAB comes out to be 2309.4 Newton. Now to find the value of TBC, we have to apply the sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have TAB cos theta minus TBC equals to zero. And from here, TAB is 2309.4 Newtons. So TBC becomes 2309. 0.4 into cos 60 degrees. So TBC is 1154.7 Newton. So these are the tensile forces in the rod. Now we have to find the average normal stress. Now to find the average normal stress, we have sigma AB is equals to TAB over the cross-sectional area AB. If I make a cross-section across this rod, then the cross-sectional area would be a circle. So the cross-sectional area AAB is basically equals to the area of the circle of diameter 5 millimeters 
the area of the circle can be written as pi d squared upon 4. So we have pi. And now I have to convert this 5 millimeters into the meters. So it would be 5 exponent negative 3 square upon 4. So the cross sectional area becomes 1.96 exponent negative 5 meter square. So the average normal stress in the rod AB is TAB, which is 2309.4 newtons divided by 1.96 exponent negative 5. So the average normal stress sigma AB is 117.62 exponent 6 pascal. Or if you want to write it in terms of megapascals, so it's 117.62 megapascal. So this is our one of the answers. Now for the average normal stress in the rod BC, it's TBC over the cross-sectional area of the rod BC. Now since each rod has a same diameter of 5 mm, so cross-sectional area of the rod BC is also 1.96 exponent negative 5 meter square because they both have the same diameter and both have the cross-sectional area representing a circle. So the average normal stress is 1154.7 newtons divided by 1.96 exponent negative 5. So the average normal stress in the rod BC becomes 58.81 exponent 6 pascals or if you want to write it in terms of megapascals so it becomes 58.81 megapascal. So this is our second answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts regarding this problem, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.